Hey Fight Fans, in today's video we will show you why former UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman believes that the fight between Nate Diaz and Hamza Chimaev does not make any sense. GSP gave a prediction for the upcoming fight so we will also hear what the legend thinks. Nate Diaz himself is ready for war with Chimaev as Nate is in great shape for this fight. And the main news for today's video which should excite Diaz fans, the Stockton Gangster has applied for a promotional license. That's right, he is going to start his own fighting promotion. We will also discuss what Hamza Chimaev's manager said in an interview with Lasur, stating that Chimaev is aiming for three UFC titles. So let's go. Well, as you already know, on September 10th at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, UFC 279 will take place, with the main event being Hamza Chimaev versus Nate Diaz. This is a stacked card and should make for a great night of fights, not to mention the return of UFC legend Tony Ferguson. But fans are most excited for Hamza Chimaev versus Nate Diaz. And no doubt this fight is going to be a test for the young fighter and we will finally get to see Chimaev against some tough competition. Chimaev is recognized as the favorite but opinions among fans and fighters are divided. For instance, UFC legend George St. Pierre believes that you shouldn't discount Nate and here's why. GSP who attended the fight night in Paris told the media the fight will take place at welterweight and I think the odds will be in favor of Chimaev. However, don't discount Nate Diaz. He is well developed, he is very hardy and it will take a lot of effort to finish him off. Hamza will be a tough test for him because I guess he only went the distance in his last fight and I think he has grown tremendously since that fight. He has learned a lot. So I think we will see the best version of Hamzat and therefore it will be an interesting fight. But if I have to bet on this fight, of course I have to take the chances and give preference to Hamzat Chemaev. Former UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman said in an interview with Joe Rogan, Obviously you can't discount Diaz, but this is a strange fight, an incomprehensible fight that in fact does not make sense. I still doubt that Hamzat will get a title fight next. I think it would be more interesting to see him fight Covington. This is the last test because Covington can do everything. Yes, he must pass Covington. However, one of the most popular and iconic fighters in UFC history, Nate Diaz, is ready for a war with Shamaya. A few days before the fight with Hamzat, he showed his fans what kind of shape he was in with a photo that was posted on social networks by former UFC fighter and Diaz's friend, Jake Shields. Shields captioned the photo saying, Night Workout. Now initially, Nate planned to have another fight before the end of 2021, but he could not agree on an opponent with the UFC. And now that Diaz will be out of his contract with the UFC, the Stockton Gangster has applied for a promotional license. He is about to launch his own fighting promotion called Real Fight Inc. They will host fights according to the rules of MMA, boxing, and even Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. A statement came out saying, in the coming weeks, Nate will apply for a promotional license to create Real Fight Inc., a new promotion that will focus on promoting sports shows, specifically boxing, MMA, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. The new company will have nothing to do with his status as a fighter, in which he is going to continue being active. Real Fight Inc. is his expansion into the business side of sports, where he has been present for almost 20 years. The promotion will attract fighters from all over the world, whether they are up and coming players or celebrities who fit the real ninja brand. Real fighters, real shit. Now, this is not the first business project of the Diaz family. His older brother Nick owns the famous NDA Hall, the Nick Diaz Academy, and Nate also trains there. But apparently, his brother's success has motivated him to expand the family business into a mini empire. However, Nate is far from the only fighter to have created their own promotion, but the main feature of his league is that there will be several styles of martial arts, which is something that only a handful of companies are doing. It will be interesting to see how Diaz will combine being the head of a company and being an active fighter. He is 37 years old and his contract with the UFC expires after this fight with Hamzat. Will Nate's fighting career continue? Where? Now, Chimaev's career looks optimistic, as his manager says he is aiming for three UFC titles in an interview with Lesur. 
Shemaev's manager said, first, we want to win the welterweight belt, then of course, move up, and after we win the second title, we will aim for something else. I'm not worried about his fights with light heavyweights and heavyweights. He does this daily. He only trains with them and his body is used to it, unlike other welterweights. But what do you think of all this? Write your thoughts down in the comments section and do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel.